And thanks for joining us here on the News at 10. Four months ago, the city of Eagle terminated its lease with the local nonprofit running activities for senior citizens. Well, now that nonprofit is taking legal action. Eagle Senior Citizens Incorporated filed notice of a tort claim against the city last week. Abby Davis talked to the nonprofit's president about why this next step is necessary. So what's the end goal, Abby? Well, Brian, the president, Stan Ridgeway, says this is really their only option, taking it through the courts. The nonprofit has rented a building from the city since the early 2000s. They had to move out of that building last week. Ridgeway says it didn't go very smoothly, which is part of the reason why they filed this notice. A found family built on life experiences and shared interests. Oh, 74. So Tuesday and Thursday are the bing, bingo pinochle. Now in a temporary home, one Ruth Ann Patton isn't happy with. We're looking for a place that we can possibly set up and have a senior center like we had over there to start with. Over there at the Eagle Senior and Community Center. Eagle Senior Citizens, Inc., a local nonprofit, previously rented the building from the city of Eagle. It was for a dollar a year beginning in 1988. And ending in 2023 after city council terminated the lease in February. All right, all those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? All right, motion carries. Council members cited financial concerns. Concerns President Stan Ridgway say don't exist. It's really a crime what they're doing. So the nonprofit filed a $1 million notice of tort claim against the city last week. The notice accuses city leadership of unlawfully terminating the lease, taking financial records and locking nonprofit members out of the building before their lease ended. They took all of our equipment, all of our computers, everything they had seized and we didn't have access to get in the building unless we called them. But Mayor Jason Pierce says people sometimes gave things to the nonprofit when they really meant to donate to the city. And as far as the locks go. A lot of those locks have had trouble for years and so we got them changed. Now city staff are the only ones with keys to the building where the Parks and Recreation Department plans on running its own senior activities. When this first started, you know, the nonprofit, there were 1,700 seniors in Eagle. There's over 7,000 now. You know, the city needs to be doing things like it does for its youth and for other things in the community. But Ridgeway believes the nonprofit has done just fine helping those seniors the past three decades. Patton agrees. Will you go to any of the city activities or stick with the nonprofit? With the nonprofit. One still searching for a permanent place. This isn't the only legal issue surrounding the senior center. There is also a $5 million wrongful death claim and disagreement around $100,000 the city gave the nonprofit a few years ago. But this notice, Brian, indicates that the nonprofit will likely sue the city sooner than later. Wow, okay, thank you very much, Abby.